would take her, say she can only extend to here. So as I get to the end of her range, aren't I doing kind of a low load, long duration stretch? So I hold her then and I say, hey, what happens if I get some inhibitory pressure on her tendon? So I hold, <laughs> yeah, she just rolling right off. So I hold and I start to feel this let go. Okay, so I can get a little bit more range. And again, I've now gone to that end range and I'm getting that, that long duration stretch. Low load, long duration. I keep my pressure on my tendon. I try to get a little bit more range. Okay, and I just keep going until I get to the end part of my range. Are you like slightly pushing her now? Or I'm pushing her. No, I'm pushing on her tendon. No, I'm like, Over here, I'm, yeah. I'm pulling, I'm, until you get to resistance. Okay, okay, you'll feel it in a normal person. I don't know if it would just like from yeah, and then what's even a better thing to do is after I get as much range as I can, then maybe I'll take her out of it, out of a gravity position and now make her use it, use her range by using her triceps, okay? So I'm stimulating her triceps, which is gonna reciprocally inhibit, inhibit her biceps, right? And hopefully decrease some of the biceps. So you kind of combine it, because you want to use it for a purpose, right? It's all about making it more functional. Yeah, once you gain something, you have to use it. You right. should give off. You don't just get range for to get the range of motion. Okay, you want to use it for a functional activity. Give it so that you continue to use it. Perfect. Perfect.